Slavian army man their positions in the mountains of Kosovo. They wander casually only a few hundred yards from the border with Albania. From here they can see and hear the NATO bombardment, but as yet they are untouched by it. A NATO cruise missile roars overhead, seeking out its target. Nearby, Serbian soldiers herd a group of exhausted refugees along a mountain path. Witnesses say the soldiers' uniforms and demeanor suggest they are members of an elite force, possibly even connected to the notorious Arkan. Albanian border police claim they saw this area being mined just a week ago. Whether the soldiers are there to make sure the refugees avoid the mines, or whether they just want to make sure they leave their homeland, is unclear. The expulsions are done with cold efficiency. Once over the border, the refugees are on their own. This isolated area of desolate border country has become a new front in the ongoing exodus from Kosovo. Uh, well, we've been here for 24 hours now and some 2,500 people have crossed. They're all crossing on foot because it's not a vehicle crossing and uh, they're coming in the main from Jakova, which is about 10 kilometers away. But it's an uphill climb all the way and by the time they get here, they're exhausted. The exhausted refugees, including many children and elderly, struggle down a muddy and slippery path towards the nearest village, nine cold miles away. At one of the busier border checkpoints, the tide of weary ethnic Albanians continues to flow. For some, the relief can be clearly seen on their faces. At least 350 cars, trucks and tractors were packed with people waiting to cross the Albanian border in Morini. Most of the people at the checkpoint were elderly women and men accompanied by young children. As refugees continue to stream from the borders, it's probable that the upheaval will alter forever the ethnic makeup of Yugoslavia's Kosovo province.